what you do for the soldiers, God bless you. Thank you for all you do. Well, it's, it's for your son that we do all this stuff. You know, we got to remember, right? Well, he's played many roles throughout his career. Lieutenant Dan. Hey, How the Navy's you? here. Hi, guys. You and Lieutenant Dan. His most notable role is the one that he holds in real life. I would have never guessed when I first met Gary that his major preoccupation in life would become the men and women who serve our country. No, I was just jagging around when I was uh, 18 years old. I read about this play called Tracers that was being performed by a group of Vietnam veterans who wrote the play based on their experiences. And it, it just makes you look at your life and say, you know, well, what the... <laughs> and that it go, all goes back to those early 80s. Morning, sir. Oh, get your hands down. When I got the opportunity to play Lieutenant Dan and Forrest Gump, I was tuned up to tell those stories. See that? Do you know what it's like not to be able to use your legs? Gary was very dedicated in making sure that he did this this part absolutely right. I mean, to the T, perfect. To that point, everything was focused on theater and acting. And uh, after that, th something changed. Everything changed. Working an entire week on a show where he's the lead guy. So he does five days from Monday to Friday. Friday night, he'll get on a plane with his band of 14 members plus roadies, what have you. Fly to a city, do a concert on Saturday evening, get on a bus on Sunday and go to another concert <laughs> for Sunday evening, and fly home Monday morning, go straight to work again. This is a, an energy. You, I don't know if he ever sleeps. We have a whole new generation because of 9-11 of real life Lieutenant Dan's out there. So we're handing over a Gary Sinise Foundation home to this family who really needs it. Many years ago when I began this journey, it became abundantly clear that we can never do enough for those who serve and who sacrifice, defending and providing our precious freedom and liberty. But I also learned that we can always do a little more.